Yes. Yes. Two months later, what is still the most startling thing for you? Well, I was, I was, uh, I'm still shocked when I see the island. I mean, it was uh, when I saw it in September, and also told my wife and family when I got back. I mean, I'd never ever experienced something like it. It is amazing to see what has been done, how the, the debris has been cleared, how, uh, I mean, it, it, it looks like we're ready for business again. Obviously, if you look carefully, you see there's still a lot of destruction that has to be repaired. But the people are resilient, the people believe in the future. And, uh, and I, also, I also take back home the, the gratefulness of the, the St. Martin people for, for what the, the Dutch military has done, the Marines, the Marchese, the, the, the engineers that have been doing all this work to try and fix houses and, and really clear debris for people. They went the extra mile. And that is also very important to see and hear that from the people. And it was also very special to, to meet uh, people from the Red Cross, the right here across the people here in the, in the, that are taking care of people without housing. All the different people that are day in, day out, giving their utmost to bring St. Martin back and make, uh, make it the island ready to receive new tourists again. And I really, I really hope and pray that it will happen very soon because St. Martin deserves it. The people of St. Martin deserve it. They've done everything to come over this, this terrible disaster of Irma. And I was very impressed to see that resilience yet again. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you.